everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome to Ask Think, episode number 127 for Monday, November 10th, 2014. Whew. Next day or so, maybe even today, gonna be pretty exciting for me. <laughs> I'm sure you guys know why. Now, let's get to last week's question that I gave to you guys, and it's what's your favorite cartoon and why? And Maurice Moultrie said King of the Hill, which is one that I really liked as well. And a Dr. Monkey Breath says their favorite cartoon is Tintin because of the detective aspect, and it's French because good cartoons come from France, and I will agree with that as well, which we'll get to near the end. <laughs> Mauricio Munoz says a family guy and also the Simpsons and I love a family guy and it's funny he's the only one who said family guy but I guess it's kind of got an older demographic a couple of people said Ren and Stimpy and a few others said a My Little Pony and then there were a few that liked TN or <clears throat> sorry let's say it correctly TMNT <laughs> Then a couple of people, few people actually said Kim Possible. And then we, I had a few people say the Animaniacs uh, and even did the theme song for it. A few people said various uh, Pokemon, and I put them all together, Pokemon um, cartoons. I know that they're different, but, you know, th there were a few of them, and I figured I'd stick them all together. And then a few people said The Simpsons, and less than I thought, actually. Um, you know, it's a cartoon that's been running for so, so long. And I thought there would be more people that liked it. And and actually, by the time I got to the end of the question, there was only like one. And all of a sudden, like five came in at once. So I don't really know. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, definitely I like that as well. And then comes the more popular ones. And the first one was a complete surprise to me, guys. It was Tom and Jerry. A ton of people loved Tom and Jerry. And that just blew me away. I was like, what? I mean, not, not that I don't like Tom and Jerry. I do. But I just thought, man, that's, you know, that cartoon is is way past its prime and, and kids these days wouldn't like it. But I was wrong. And of course, one of the most popular, if not the most popular, it's, it's close. It's like neck and neck between three different cartoons and actually almost four because of Tom and Jerry. But it was a SpongeBob SquarePants. Everyone loves a SpongeBob. And then the next popular one is, of course, Adventure Time. A ton of people love Adventure Time. So, um, you know, Kobe was right. She was telling me when she was picking out her Halloween costume for Things Lab. She said she wanted to be Jake from Adventure Time. I was like, Kobe, I don't know if they watched that that much. But apparently she has a great read on you guys and what you guys like. And then one that, I mean, I've heard a little bit about it but I don't really know much about it at all, is Gravity Falls. Tons of people loved Gravity Falls. Almost all for the same reason, because of the mysteries and the cliffhangers, and it's funny and things like that. So that's something I'm definitely going to have to watch. So thank you guys for letting me know about that one. And then a bunch of people said me and my channel. And I guess that counts, uh, because... Um, you know, when I met Nettie, uh, that's kind of how I met her. She, um, she posted a comment on my ALS Ice Bucket Challenge for Things Lab, you know, because that one kind of went a little bit viral. And she just posted that she really liked it. And then I found her on Twitter and started talking with her. And she's like, oh, I loved your episode there. I love that because it reminded me, it made me think like I was watching a TV show or a cartoon. So if she says it and you guys say it, I guess it's okay. <laughs> now, Bobby Carolina had the right answer to this question. I, I, you know, I didn't tell you guys there was a right or wrong answer, so everybody else got it wrong. <laughs> Just kidding. But Bobby Carolina has the, well, shares their favorite cartoon with me. And I, I think it's because, not because it's like the my favorite cartoon that I would watch right now, because I have other cartoons that I would rather watch, but it, it makes me think, I guess, nostalgically about my childhood. And I remember, man, when I, Saturday mornings when the Smurfs were on, oh, loved it. You know, I mean, na, 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 na. oh gosh, my voice. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> that was me singing the Smurfs song and then my, you know, and I can't sing. And then my voice made it even worse 
Anyway, you guys get the point. I loved the Smurfs. My sister and I used to love, love, love it. And we would hate it um, if we would miss it for whatever reason. I think sometimes daylight savings would mess it up and uh, I would ruin our weekend. But <laughs> yeah, I used to love the Smurfs so much. So guys, for next week's question that I want you guys to answer, it is coming to us from Rebecca Gector and it says... What's a cool or unique tradition that you and your family do on a holiday? Now, this could be any holiday. I feel like we're kind of entering the holiday season here. I mean, we're only a few weeks away from American Thanksgiving and then Christmas and Hanukkah and all of that. And, uh, you know, and it doesn't have to be even those. It could be Easter, something cool that you guys do for July 4th or whatever specific holiday maybe you have in your country for your own Independence Day or unique holidays. Now, before we get to the questions, I want to remind you to leave your question for me in the comments below so I can have something to answer next week. Remember, only one question per comment, but you can leave as many comments as you like. Also, if the comments on this Ask Think are closed, go to the most recent Ask Think and ask your question there. Now on to the questions, and the first one comes from Kev Ben Balan 9 It says, well, you don't have the raw recording, why? Well, I haven't had it over the past couple of weeks because I'm um, with my computer troubles and I was using my wife's laptop and I didn't have everything, everything set up as I normally do. It is set up properly now, so you can find the raw recording for this episode in the description and check it out. Now, the most important question this week. Well, I mean, yes, it is a question because everyone asked if I saw it. The Minions trailer came out. It's a prequel to Despicable Me, and I think it's mostly just the Minions, and it's before they met Gru. Looks amazing. I saw it um, the day it came out. Someone had sent me a link, and I saw it and blew me away. It looks so awesome. And, well, actually a lot of movie stuff happened this week. Uh, the other story, well, other than this one, that cool dude 233 says, Think Disney announced Toy Story 4. Are you excited? Yes, except I think it's coming out in 2017. No, but that's okay. I mean, I love Toy Story. Uh, one of my favorite animated movies. I mean, I love all Pixar movies, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for it. Uh, now, the other thing that happened with movies was they announced... The um the name for Star Wars Episode Seven, um so uh, I think it's the the Force Awakens. I think it, I think that's it, right? Or the yeah yeah the Force Awakens, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's it. Something it's close to that. So we had the Minions movie, we had the title for Star Wars, and we have Toy Story Four. Big big week. The only dead chicken says. Do you ever think about dropping this series due to the low ratings and views as opposed to your most popular thing, Slab Series? 126 episodes and you surely answered almost everything worth answering. No, not at all. Uh, I enjoy making these videos and I know that everyone enjoys uh, seeing the questions or answering the question that I asked for them. So as long as the people who watch it enjoy it and I enjoy making it, I'm going to continue to make it. I'm not the kind of YouTuber or person that will... Only do things if they're popular um, or, you know, if, oh, oh so, so-and-so did this and it did really well. Uh, you, maybe you should do that because um, so-and-so plays whatever game. Um, uh, that's not what I do. I, I play things and do things that I enjoy and that my subscribers enjoy. And if everyone continues to enjoy it and leaves Comments. I mean, if you know, if there were no more questions to answer uh, in the comments, then maybe. But there's always questions to answer every single week, and I have fun making it. X Real Gaming Access. Think I recently had a video hit thirty thousand views. So my question is, how did you feel when one of your videos had a lot more views than your average video? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna use my uh, ALS Ice Bucket Challenge video as an example. So when it happened, it really happened very quickly and out of nowhere, that it just started getting massive amounts of views, uh, more than my Think Slabs normally do. And I was excited at first. I was like, oh my goodness, look at all these views. And, and then subscribers, it was crazy, like this explosion of growth. And uh, I, I was, you know, I was like, wow, is this going to go on forever? And of course it didn't. But um, so at first I was super excited about it. And then when, so what happened is it was being suggested to people who don't 
who maybe aren't normal noodler age or don't watch normal noodler content. And so it started bringing in people that uh, weren't fond of my style of video or thing slab or any of it at all. And um, they were not so nice in the comments. So that, so, so, so it was like a double edged sword. I was excited about the growth and the exposure, but then uh, the people that it brought in um, <laughs> made me a little bit uh, upset with the way that they were acting in the video. Um, or in the comments section, it really, really uh, disturbed me to the point I was, I was, I was getting, you know, close to if it had continued at the rate that did, probably closing the comments on that video because they were getting so hateful to me and to everyone else in the comment section. Caleb Henry says, "Do you have Instagram? Because lots of people saying they are you, unless they are you. <laughs> also, if you have an Instagram, will you follow me? Uh, I do have an Instagram. I don't follow anyone." It's just Instagram. The username is Think Noodles. Just straight Think Noodles. No underscores. No real in the front. Just Think Noodles. And I think I've got like four pictures of Kopi in it, and that's it. The next person asks, "Have I ever dropped a pen at school when sitting down and tried to pick it up with my feet?" Now I'm the guy that when I drop my pen, I stand up from my desk and make a ton of noise, disturb the class entirely, and pick up my pen and sit. No, I don't do that. Yes, of course. <laughs> Ruby Finkel says, think you have to get out of Manhattan right now. My teacher said in the future that New Orleans and Manhattan will be completely underwater because the sea level keep rising. Noodle on. Run for your lives, everyone. No. Let's go, Kobe. Let's go. You want <laughs> Kobe doesn't believe you. She, I just said, uh, let's go, Kobe. I look behind me. And she's lying on the couch with her feet in the air on her back, just her belly up <laughs> asleep. So, <laughs> yes, eventually New Orleans and Manhattan and other places like, um, I think, I think um, Amsterdam, too. I don't know. But anyway, um, the, the, there, there, there are many cities that are, well, I think. Manhattan's at sea level. I know New Orleans is below sea level. I think Amsterdam is below sea level as well. Um, so uh, technically, if they didn't have the pumps, they'd already be underwater. Um, but it's not something that's going to happen now. It's not something that's going to happen in the next 10 years or even the next 100 years. It could be thousands of years before that happens. I mean, well, who knows with global warming? I, I mean, there is no global warming or whatever, but but um, who knows with climate change uh, how quickly the sea levels will rise. But I'm not really that worried. Michelle Perez says, on the Disney XD thing you're doing, is it just going to be your voice? Or do they take video of you in real life? Or are you in Minecraft? Sorry if you don't get what I mean. I get what you mean. Uh, it's actually me in Minecraft. Um, on the first one, I did the segment in Thinks Lab. Uh, no minions, but um, but uh, I still did it in, in that part. Um, or I guess, what do I mean? That part of my, or that set, I guess. And then in the second segment, I did it in my treehouse on the Noodle Planet. And the third segment, I'm still trying to think of, uh, of well, of where to sort of address you guys. The next couple of people ask about why I started uploading in 60 frames per second. Um, well, the reason is because YouTube had just enabled it on everyone's channels. There were only a couple, a handful of channels that had it before for demonstration and testing and whatnot. And, uh, yeah. So once they, uh, once they enabled it on my channel, I started uploading. Mike O'Gara says, why don't you have a Twitch account? I do. I just don't use it very much. It's, uh, I think it's also twitch.tv slash think noodles. Actually, I think it's in the description of my videos. Yeah, it must be, must be. Uh, but I'm just not a very good streamer. Cool dude, 62628 ask, think, are you worried about copyright claims on your ask, think video for the music in the background? No, I'm very careful about the music that I use in my backgrounds and it's all royalty free uh, with a published license for YouTubers. Catlin Lee says, hey, think my question is, when you became a YouTuber, were you nervous about how people thought about you or if they hate your video? At first, yeah, and for a while, actually, it, it took me some time to get to the point where I realized that, you know what, I have fun, 
I make good content and my subscribers like it. And if there are people who don't like it, okay. You know, it's it, it, not everyone's going to like everything that I do. And I've gotten to that point where I think, okay, that is okay. Enough people do like it and I enjoy making it. So I'm happy. Alpha Wolf says, when you announce stuff on Twitter, can you announce it on YouTube too? Please don't reply with get Twitter because every time I ask this question, they say that my mom won't let me get Twitter and I'm not allowed to go on her account either. Well, um, I mean, when I go on Club Penguin for Think Thursday and things like that, I, I do announce that on YouTube and on Facebook and on Twitter. But I mean, with uh, asking for IGNs, I really like to do it in only one place because otherwise it's so hard to collect the usernames. Uh, be, it, I mean, if you guys can think of a better way for me to do it rather than on Twitter, like some other service that I could do that for, and you guys could, you know, be notified when I'm asking for the IGNs and you could just fill in a form or something like that, that would be awesome. I just can't think of anything. The next couple of people ask about advanced warfare. And I thought about it for a second on the first one. I was like, advanced warfare, what is that? And I was like, oh, it must be COD. And Actually, I didn't pre-order it or buy it yet. I'm kind of out of the loop with COD. Huh. Kelly Kawai asks, what happened to grab your chopsticks and poke that like button as hard as you can? Well, you know, kind of what happened with that was, um, you know, I got to the point where my outro was so long that I kind of got like, I was like, you know, it's so long. It's unnecessary. And I just didn't like asking for likes. It just, I don't, uh, I don't know. It, it, it is a good quote though. And I really, really do love it. Uh, I could bring it back. I mean, if you saw the most recent diversity, it was an Easter egg specifically programmed for me surrounding that, which was kind of awesome. And uh, really, really made me smile. The Osenry asked, does your parents know that you're an awesome YouTuber? Noodle on. Yes. Uh, in fact, my dad watches every Things Lab the day it comes out. <laughs> Kelly Kawai asks, do you sometimes get bored after uploading a video or videos of the day? If I had time to get bored, probably. But after I'm done uploading the videos and waiting for them to process and putting the thumbnails on it and titling them and linking them, then, um, then scheduling them to be published, then there's always more stuff to do. There's never, ever, ever enough time in the day for me to be bored. Creative Zane MC asks, what software did you use to make your intro? Uh, that is made with Adobe After Effects. Mickey2000MK says, think when you time-lapse a video or just skip some parts, do you speak during the time-lapse and then when you find something interesting, you continue speaking or not? Well, um, you know, it depends. A lot of times I keep, well, it just depends. If I know that there's not going to be really much of anything, I'm not going to be speaking to you guys as if you were on video or watching. Uh, but I mean, I still do talk to myself and you guys probably saw that in yesterday's survival video. Uh, I was recording because I always record when I'm on the noodle planet and I was just sort of talking to myself and saying the things that I say to myself when I play and not necessarily to an audience. And uh, yeah, you saw what happened at the beginning there. Um, so I do talk even when, even actually, even when I'm not recording, I actually talk to myself as well. Uh, it kind of helps me. Well, it doesn't help me focus, but sometimes if I'm doing something complicated, I talk myself through the steps. I know it's so weird, but I do. And, uh, but yeah, usually if I'm doing, well, if I, if I know I'm doing a time lapse, I'm like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to time lapse this building segment here. Yeah, I definitely am not talking to you guys, but sometimes, oh my gosh, this is getting so long. Sometimes what'll happen is I'll just be playing along and I won't know that the next 10 minutes are going to be absolutely boring. So I'll be talking for the entire 10 minutes as if you guys are there and I'll just cut that part out, um, at, at a point where it becomes boring and then get back to the exciting stuff. The Diamond Powered TDP says, think, can you change your skin so that the beard is gone? I really want to see your character without the beard. <laughs> well, um, I mean, I'm going to, so I, I thought about this when I saw that and I was like, that might be weird. But then I was like, you know, that would make a really good Thinks Lab, I guess, part of a Thinks Lab uh, plot where I shave. <laughs> so definitely you're going to see that one day. 
Jessica Wright says, do you think what is your opinion of people going first in the comment section? In my opinion, it was all fun at first, but now it's kind of annoying for me. You know, it doesn't really hurt anyone, so I kind of like it. You know, I, it's a little game that people play with each other, and it's kind of innocent and harmless. And uh, even when um when I'm home and the video publishes, I try and congratulate the person that is first. Brooke Tucker Owl Lover says, since your wife is a doctor, what does she specialize in? She is a surgeon, and right now a general surgeon, and um, she's applying for fellowship. TM Game says, hey, I watched your pup Tropica Skullduggery Island walk through and at the beginning you went under the bridge and got the doubloon. But when I click it, I go left. It just takes me right back to my balloon. Do you know why that's happening? Uh, you might want to contact uh, Pearson or Pop Tropica about that uh, because I know that with their new system and, um, you know, putting the games in, uh, well, not in color, but the bigger screen and the sound, they've uh, injected a few bugs and that could be one of them. Z Shahaj says, think, how do you do the side point of view? Like when you're talking to the Ninja Turtles and you're talking to Kevin, but you see the side of you nodding and stuff. Well, what I do with that, there, there are two ways. It really depends on what I need to accomplish in that scene. Um, so it's either a, um, I have multiple clients open at the same time and um, I'm looking through one and nodding on the other. Or I use the uh, Cam Studio mod. Kelly Donlin says, do the minions sing the banana song naturally or do you edit that in? Uh, they sing it naturally. Um, those are the idle sounds for them. Uh, and I really wish that there was a way that I could put some silence because um, with about 70, around 70 of them now, it's getting really, really loud. The Orr brothers ask, think, how did you make Kobe lie down in the bed and think slab? <laughs> well, uh, I used, what did I use? Oh, I used the custom NPCs mod to make her and uh, in that. And <laughs> and it was, uh, you know, I was like, I want to make her lie on the bed. I wanted to make her lie on, the, on her side, actually, but I couldn't do that. It doesn't let you. So when you put lying down, it li makes her lie with her face up. And I tried it on the bed and it looked pretty funny. Kelly Kawai asks, in the Think Slab episode, Making Sandwiches, Kobe's tail was down and she had no collar on, which means she was an untamed dog. Then she was following you. How did you do that? Um, well, uh, actually, so what I did was I wanted to make her look more sick. So that's why her tail was down. Because um, I didn't, um, usually Kopi, as you know, is um, invulnerable. So I can't damage her and I really wouldn't want to. Um, but yeah, I can't damage her down so that her tail go down. It's always up. So uh, so I had to make her that way. Um, but when you said then she was following me, um, I think you mean, um, so I, I'm talking about at the lab. And then when I was in the um, the city, what I did is I made her a custom NPC. And because I wanted to make her still look sick with her tail down. And uh, then she followed me. Harry Sudabi asks, how do you keep track of the Golden Noodle Awards when you add someone? Well, the good thing about the uh, Golden Noodle Awards versus the Minions is that I don't have to keep a list because the Minions I have to keep a list because they run around everywhere and, you know, I couldn't possibly go through the whole lab and say, do we have one named Harry? Uh, but <laughs> but on the, uh, the tree, I can just run around real quick and look at all the signs and say, yep, we're good. Witherbones PC Gaming says, hey, I think we ever put up a world download for Pixelmon, even if you have to explain on how you should probably not do it unless you have the right mods. <sighs> well, there's a little bit of a problem with it, although maybe not, um, because the original island build is from uh, a map from the Minecraft forums. And I, I you know, I, I got permission from the map creator to put it on our series and put it on our server and everything and make modifications to it by adding the Poke Center and the Poke Mart and things like that. But I don't know. I never really asked about redistribution of the map and um, I wouldn't want to redistribute it without their permission. Sydney 02 says, think, why don't you put torches on the spawners instead of breaking them when you go to a dungeon on Crazy Craft? It's much easier and faster. <laughs> I just never thought of it. 
Is that a good enough answer? That is, I can't believe that I never thought of this. I don't know why I don't. I don't know why I didn't. And I'm smacking my head for being so dumb. Uh, thank you. If that works, it's going to make things a lot easier. But I'm not sure that it does work because, like, for example, in the... Um, in the unstable ant dimension where we had the worms, right, spawning, they spawned whether it was day or night. So I don't know that that will actually work. They might have the, the, the spawners program so that they spawn with proximity only and it doesn't have to be dark. But it's something I'm definitely going to try, especially for those basilisks. Tom Edwards says, hey, think if you were in the supermarket and needed cereal, but you only had enough money to buy one box, what cereal would you buy? Huh. Um, only enough for one box. <sighs> this is so boring. Uh, I mean, not, not that the question's boring, but my answer's really boring. And if I could only buy one box of cereal, it would be Crispix. And I don't honestly know why. Because I just thought about it and I was like, okay, if I can only get one, what would it be? And Crispix came to mind. And I know it's so boring. It should be something better like Fruity Pebbles or something, but no. <laughs> Nuclear Toxic says, oh man, I just thought of a great challenge for you. Talk the same way you voice act, Kevin, but don't modify your voice. Um, okay. Uh, like, uh, how am I going to do that? That's not going to work. <laughs> I mean, it'll be like... No, because I'm, tr see, I'm trying to modify my voice because what I do is when I voice Kevin or Dave, I just make my voice a little bit higher and I'll, you know, I'll just say, oh, Kopi, no, Kopi, no, no, Kopi, no. Remember that episode when, when Kopi was, Kopi, bad dog, Kopi, bad dog. And I did that. Then with the voice modifier, um, it makes it sound like a minion. Sheena, one, two, three, four, Isation said, think what's your favorite? A, biscuits, B, chocolate, C, crisps, C, D, sweets, or E, salad. And so I have to translate these from English to American. <laughs> and I think biscuits are cookies and crisps are potato chips and sweets, I would assume, are like candies and chocolate. I don't know why those are separate. Um, If I had to choose, I would probably say chocolate which is weird because as a kid i i didn't like chocolate as much as i like candy but uh, for some reason i really really like a really good chocolate now and oh man you know what i love is chocolate gelato like really really like a dark one not a milky gelato but like a really really dark chocolatey mm. <laughs> all right guys that's it for this episode of ask think don't forget to leave your question in the comments below so i can have something to answer next week i'll see you guys again soon thanks for watching and of course noodle on